What is up guys? This one is off the cuff. Those tend to be the videos that people really enjoy and engage with. So I'm praying that this one does the same. Now, I want to talk about my son today. Not him specifically, but just children. And he's the one that inspired this video today. So thank you, Miles, for that. Um, I spent a lot of time with my son today and, you know, kids are all different, but my son in particular, sometimes, you know, he's growing so fast in so many different ways. And because of that, his moods, he can just be edgy sometimes. And I wanted to talk about that a little bit because I learned a lot about myself today and just sometimes I'm just constantly reminded I think a lot of times as parents, we forget that, you know, your child might be in a situation where most of the time you're at work, they may be cared for at some level in their development. They might be at school most of the week where they are in that world equally, if not more than the world at home. Uh, they might be with a nanny. They might be with parent, your parents. They might be with family, friends, they might be school, daycare, um, just not home uh, for the majority of the week might be the scenario for most of you guys. And I think that we forget a lot of times how when you're a child and you're, you're soaking up knowledge, you're, you're soaking up social interaction and social skills and dealing with adults versus small kids, medium kids, um, spiritually, as you're, if you're parented with spiritual values, as you're starting to learn about God and read about this and learn about your own heart, and you're just unpacking so many things at so many different levels, it's just an information overload just about every day if you're really intentional with it. There's always some kind of development going on where you're trying to meet your child where they're at. And gosh, I got to just say after today, I, I need to reiterate to myself that there needs to be a an intense and deliberate amount of patience with children. Sometimes, you know, it hit me like this today. A lot of times, your child may have a genuine place of conviction, and it might not be right. Um, it may be in the stage of figuring out they, their emotions are, their emotional reactions to things are very real. And sometimes we, we instruct our children to be a certain way. And a lot of times when you feel your child is at a level where they should understand that and you don't see them reciprocating or behaving or explaining and you see them kind of out of character, so to speak, it can be so easy to be so demanding of that child. Why aren't you understanding this? Or or come on, and, and, and it's hard to discern as a parent when to be firm and when to be sensitive. It's kind of something you kind of juggle in both hands and kind of pour it at will on a situation. But the thing I need to remind myself sometimes is that despite the things that I'm raising, it's almost like when your child leaves your house, you put, you put everything you're developing on pause until they get back home and then you deal with them. But when we meet with our children, sometimes the expectations that we have they undermine the fact that the child sometimes is never at home for, for a lot of the time. And, and they live in a different world when they're not home. The, they, despite how you raise them, they have to go to school and go to daycare or go to grandma's house and go there and learn how the world is working in that environment and adapt and try to process what you taught them. But then also they're in this world with all these temptations and all these learning, all this different learning. And then they're with other children that are as equally as confused in learning. And it's just like a knowledge sandwich and an interaction sandwich that can just be so overwhelming. And, and that goes back to the patience thing because sometimes you, you expect something and you have to take into context. You know, this is just one of those sweet days where my son just expressed 
that he was wrestling with some things. You know, he didn't quite understand what was going on, but he could explain, well, I feel this and, and I do feel that and I'm upset. And, you know, he had his, his moments of trying to just express where he was at. He, he, he wasn't trying to disobey, but at the same time, he was, he, he, he was disobeying and he acknowledged that. But sometimes there's like this just wrestling of things. It's not just like one plus one equals two and that's how it plays out and that's the consequence. Sometimes when you ask questions and you sit with your child and you hear what they say to you, if there's intention and sincerity in them trying to actually wrestle with something, a lot of times you need to just take into context the various worlds that they're navigating. And when you sit there and think about it, a lot of times you realize, wow, they're just dealing with a lot and this requires patience. This is something that though this child may know in word or in a kind of bumper sticker knowledge, the application of it and the understanding of it and navigating it in the different worlds that they live in is a long road. It's a process, and if every time they only show a little bit of fruit and they don't just do it every way that you expect them to do it, you're just there with the firmness, there with the firmness. You And trust me, you do not want to be raising your voice or, or being angry that your child is trying to understand and trying to be sensitive but is falling short. If you associate anger with anger, their lack of in a moment, gosh, that's so harsh. Gosh, that 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 tears a child's soul apart. Uh, not feeling enough, not ever feeling like like they always have to have it together. And and when they don't, they should expect to get this kind of discipline. And they just got to grow firm and understanding. It you know this equals that, and that's the way it is. No, children take time. They need to develop. They need a place to be wrong. They need to know that you're not shying away from anything, but at the same time, you're. this is a safe space to learn and grow. We, when we discipline and we shape our children, we don't want bad results. And we also don't want to put the hammer, we're not excited to, to discipline. You know what I'm saying? Like, like we don't want the the child to experience the repercussions of all these things and the negativity that might come with that. We don't want our children to hurt or suffer. We want them to just know and experience the fruit of that wisdom. So if we make that processing a, 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 a happy meal, no, this needs to happen and you need to understand this is that and, and we don't kind of stretch that out into a process and a journey where we let our children fall and bump their knees and, and have some moments where they can have a safe space to process. Yeah, there may there may need to be moments of discipline or strictness or firmness, but please, I'm, I'm, t I'm begging you, don't bring the anger and the frustration down on them when you're in that very teachable moment to, yes, be firm and yes, teach the lesson for the day, but also come in with understanding and with sensitivity and say, now with that being said, I am proud of you. You you are, here's where you did well. And, and we need to celebrate our children's successes more. You know, I look Miles in the face today and I said, yeah, you know, you did have a tough day and you did disobey. And, and when he didn't feel valuable, I was quick to say, but you know what? What did you do last week? You know, you had days where you had no strikes in your classroom and you did amazing. You can do it. I've seen you do it. You're, you, you do it so well. And, and, you know, you might not be good at this, but you're really good at that. And, you know, we're all different and, and it just takes time. And I believe in you and I trust you. Man, when you just build and build and build and build and build that foundation of encouragement and strength and this is a safe space for you to grow and learn and I want you to win. Your children need to see that you want them to win and you're willing to be patient with them and and there's a time and a place for everything and anger is, is rarely um, the necessary 
attribute to have alongside your parenting in those moments because most of the time your children are inconveniencing you and they're frustrating you and you have expectations for them. If your first thing is to get angry and raise your tone and yell, you really need to check yourself and ask yourself, am I doing, is, is what the way I'm speaking right now and the way I'm thinking for the, not only just the betterment of my child, but am I doing it to glorify God in a way that shows godly character, not my own. We want to be shaped while we're shaping our children. And we also, let me leave you with this, want to be transparent with our children and join their journey and say, you know what, son? You know what? Daddy goes through this too. Daddy falls short as well. You know, the spiritual component as well. If God doesn't intervene, how could we possibly expect them to, to swallow the, the spiritual teachings and things like that if, if we're not prayerful and we're not showing character on our end of what we really believe in at the end of the day? It's not the, it, it's the Lord first, then the, then the teaching, right? So, and I got a little metaphorical there, but but guys, um, we we have to. There's a sweet moment where we can join our children's journey and show them we fall short as well. You know what, Daddy? You know, Daddy did that something similar to that the other day. I did X, Y, and Z, and you know what? I felt this way in the moment, and this is how we dealt with that. And 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 show them what they go through is not just a kid thing; it's an adult thing as well. And there's a way that we go about it, but we're still going to be loving and we still care about each other. And be quick to join their journey. You know, you're not celebrating your shortcomings; you're just saying, "Hey, me too. You're feeling this way, me too. I've been there before as well." But you know what? God showed up. And you know what? When I did this, things changed. And and that can be a very sweet moment where now they're not just feeling like every time they sit and talk with mom or dad, they're your therapy counselors who are perfect and all-knowing and don't screw anything up and life is just sweet. No, share in that, that journey with your children. It'll go a long way. Be super patient. Be super slow to anger. Be prayerful. Be open to the spirit of God working in those moments. You know, sometimes you may, before you walk into that house after you get off work or before you run out to deal with that situation that just exploded with your children, give yourself about 10 seconds to see what your instant reaction is, step out of yourself, maybe take a couple deep breaths and say, God, how might I glorify you right now? Am I, do I have right thinking? I pray you would be glorified. Show me what to say. Show me how to have patience and show me how to be firm and, and make this a teachable moment in the best way possible for your glory and for the fruit of my child's, uh, that my child uh, will grow up to one day possibly have ultimately hoping that he grows in knowing you and submitting his life to you, but then seeing the fruit that comes from the fruit giver. <laughs> so anyway, I hope that was encouraging to you guys um, tonight. I'm going to let you go. I um, hope you guys have a blessed week. If you have any questions or comments, guys, whenever we talk about stuff like this, one video is not going to do it justice. I hope that there were nuggets of wisdom that you can pull out of that and maybe it can start some conversations at your own house. I know I'm always in process with this. My videos are never uh, roadmaps. Um, they're, they're perspective. They're an open testimony. I'm an open book in process. I've seen a lot of fruit from these things though. And so I do want to encourage you that God can show up. God does have solutions for things. We got to be de completely dependent on him to do this parenting thing correctly. And, and man, if there's anything I've learned in parenting, it's that I have fallen short of the glory of God and I desperately need God. And when I have that, that posture towards God, he does amazing things in shaping my natural inclinations of how I do things, make me step back and make a better decision, which then grows my character and teaches me a new way. That being said, you guys have a wonderful night. Peace.